Hello, this is Ms. Moore, and today during chemistry, we're going to discuss the mole, specifically the conversion of molecules to mass. Today's essential question, how is mass calculated from the number of molecules? All right, um, today you're going to need to have your calculators and periodic tables handy. All right, um, here's a list of the three qualities we've learned so far. We've got one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd atoms. One mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules, or one mole equals the molar mass in grams. Um, you might want to jot those down so you have them handy for later. All right, and what we're going to do now is try a practice problem. So what is the mass of 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules of NaCl? So we'll start by writing our math problem, 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules NaCl equals X, and we're looking for mass, which is grams. Okay. Next, we write our grid. So we'll have 6.78 times 10 to the 50th molecules NaCl over 1. So now let's go back to our math problem and figure out which equality to use. We have molecules and mass is our two units, or molecules and grams is the two units in our problem. So let's go back and check out the equalities. And which equality has molecules and grams in it? We've got molecules here and grams there. So there actually is not one equality with both of the units that we need, both molecules and grams. So what are we going to do? We are going to use two equalities. We're going to have to use both of them. Okay? So, the question is now, which one do we start with? Well, if we look at our problem, remembering everything we're doing, we're setting stuff up is to cancel out units. We have molecules already in our problem, so let's use the equality with molecules in it, so we can cross out our units. So we'll have one mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay, And being that we have molecules on top here, we're going to put the molecules on the bottom so they cancel out. 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. On the bottom, one mole on the top. Okay, so our units cancel out. And now we're left with moles. So, and we're trying to get to mass. So this time we'll use one mole equals molar mass in grams. All right, and we get the molar mass off the periodic table, right? We have one mole. And ACL, and then we need to add up the, the molar masses of both one sodium and one chlorine, and sodium has a molar mass of 22.99 grams, and chlorine, I believe, is 35.45 grams, so when we add that up, we end up with 58.44 grams, that's not going to fit, I'll put it down below, and ACL. Okay, and um, we have four sig figs for sodium, four sig figs for chlorine, and so our answer is going to be in four sig figs. All right, so now this and this needs to go into our grid, and I'm going to put mole on the bottom because we have mole on the top, and 58.44 grams. Hmm. And AACL on the top. Mole cross out, mole cross out. So we've crossed out all of our units and we're left with grams. So now let's multiply across the top. And I got six, nope, try that again. I got 3.962232 times 10 to the 52nd grams NaCl over 6.022 
times 10 to the 23rd. Okay, that's a 3 there, 10 to the 23rd. All right, and from there you divide. And I got 6.5 seven, nine, five, nine, four, etc. times 10 to the 28th. Uh, squish that in a little bit. Times 10 to the 28th um, grams, NACL. All right, and then we go to look at sig figs. We have four sig figs and three sig figs. So we're gonna have, we're gonna keep those three. We look at the nine, which is the first one we're gonna drop. It's five or bigger. So our final answer is going to be 6.58 times 10 to the 28th grams NACL. There's an L there, NACL. So it's no different than converting from, let's say, atoms to moles or from moles to mass. We just do it as one big problem. All right, let's try one more. How many molecules of CaCl2 are in 74.2 grams? So we'll write the equation or the question. We'll have 74.2 grams of calcium chloride equals X molecules. Okay. So we'll start by putting our known in the grid. 74.2 grams CaCl2 over 1. Okay, and this time um, our units are grams and molecules. So let's look and see if we have an equality that has both grams and molecules in it. And it looks like we have molecules and grams in se separate equations, which means we're going to end up having to use both. And we'll start with grams because we have grams in the problem. Okay, so we're going to have one mole of CaCl2 equals the molar mass of CaCl2. Right, and Ca has a molar mass of 40.08 grams. And Cl has a molar mass of 35.45 grams. And you're going to add up one Ca, two Cl's. When I did that, I came up with 111.98 grams. Um, our sig figs, four and four. So that will change our number to 111.08 grams. Okay, so now we need to put one of these in, we need to put both of these in the, in the grid, and we'll put 111 grams at the bottom because we have grams at the top and they cancel out, and one mole on the top. Okay, so now we're at moles. We want to be at molecules, so we're not done yet. We're now going to use the equality 1 mole equals 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. And we'll put 1 mole on the bottom to cross out the mole there. And on the top we'll go 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Okay, let's clean this up a little bit. All right, from here we multiply across the top, and when I did that, I got 4.468324 times 10 to the 25th molecules of CaCl2. And multiply across the bottom, it's 111.0. And when we divide, I came up with 
1717 times 10 to the 23rd molecules CaCl2. All right, when we go back and check our sig figs, we have 3 and 4 and 4. So we'll have three sig figs, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the 5 we're going to drop is 5 or more, so we need to round up. So the final answer, I'm kind of out of space, I guess I'll write it over here sideways, 4.026. Times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Oh my goodness, completely out of room here. Um, molecules CaCl2. All right, that's it for today.